สวัสดีค่ะ Hi everyone Today let's make ต้มขาไก่ which is a hot and sour soup made with coconut milk If you like coconut cream do not miss out on this recipe The soup tastes silky smooth and it's sour paired with juicy chicken sweet tomato and oyster mushroom or you can even do enoki mushroom that works wonderfully well too Let's get started. Here are our ingredients. We have red shallots, dried chilies, red chilies, tomato, chicken, kefir lime leaves, lime, coriander, sliced galangal, sliced lemongrass, oyster mushroom, tamarind juice, palm sugar syrup, fish sauce, and coconut cream. Let's officially start. Bring a pot of water to a boil and add in your aromatics, which are shallots, coffee lime leaves, galangal, lemongrass, red chilies, and dried chilies. Maintain on medium heat. This step is for infusion. We leave them be for five minutes to release their aroma. After about five minutes, add in some of your coconut cream. We don't want to put all of the coconut cream in at once because we don't want it to curdle. Followed by one kg of chicken. You can use any part of the chicken that you want. Remember to not stir just yet and do not cover with a lid. There will be some foam floating on top, so just use your ladle to remove them. After the chicken is cooked, you can give this a stir. Now it's time for the seasonings. I have made a separate video on how to make tamarind juice for cooking. If you're interested, you can click on the link down below or tap on the pop-up at the end of this video. We are only adding in three of our seasoning ingredients. We are keeping the lime juice for when the heat is off. You can view the full recipe in the description box below. You can go ahead and use other kind of mushrooms that you like, just not shiitake and button mushrooms. Those two doesn't work for this kind of recipe. Tomatoes and mushroom doesn't take long to cook at all, so when they have softened up, you can give this a taste test. If you feel that it's lagging some salt, add salt to taste. I added about one teaspoon of salt. Immediately after that, you can turn off the heat. We are almost done. Last steps, we add in lime juice. We add the lime juice when the heat is off to not ruin the acidity. And the rest of the coconut cream. Coriander is up to your preference. You can also save some for the garnish in the end. If you happen to find some sawtooth coriander, please put it in. All done and ready to be served. Make sure to have this with hot jasmine rice. Here is my video on how to make tamarind juice for cooking. Thank you for watching. See you next time in the next Thai recipe video. Bye bye.